Welcome ladies and lords of a tandem yeti video where today I will be reviewing Doctor Who Flux Chapter 3 Once Upon Time Now uh, last episode we had the Suntarans, the Suntaran based episode and it ended with a cliffhanger um, where Yaz and Vinda were attached to this time mechanism, time thing and uh, swarm uh, the Ravagers, the Ravager guy clicks his fingers and presumably time is flowing through them or whatever some crazy things happen in their lives are at stake um, so uh, it's gonna quite evidently pick up from a, a very tense uh, moment and move on from there I mean uh, there's no I don't think there's gonna be a specific central alien like the Sontarans last week um, I don't think the Cybermen like, there are gonna be some Cybermen in it I don't think they're gonna be uh, completely uh, involved uh, with it entirely. Oh yeah, if, um, if you're wondering why I'm talking about the episode, why I'm theorising about the episode, I haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna go away and watch it, and then I'm gonna come back with my thoughts after I've seen the episode. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna give you an idea of what I'm hoping for the episode, so we can reflect on whether uh, that, what my hopes actually came into fruition uh, when in, in the actual episode. Um, yeah, so it looks like this episode, I do have a feeling that this episode is more than it seems. I feel like there's going to be some crazy surprising twist, which is going to blow all our minds. Uh, maybe character's going to die or something. I feel like time is going to have changed. I feel like the whole timeline of everything is going to be completely... It started to change last episode, but I feel like they're going to change the timeline of... Our, you know, our favourite characters, the Doctor, Yaz, Dan, I feel like they're gonna change, because, I mean, the Doctor's coat, uh, as you can see, is different, which is very exciting. She might have just turned it inside out, maybe, but yeah, it's, uh, the Doctor's coat, it's kind of a darker look, so maybe the Doctor's timeline's been changed, who knows. Um, but Dan, which is what, what gets me about this photo is Dan, like, how serious he looks, like, in all the scenes he's been, you know, silly, he's been the guy to be joking around. But in this photo, he looks like you know—he looks like a man of action. He's looked like he's—he looks like he's gone through some crazy stuff, and it looks like it doesn't look like he's joking around anymore in this in this photo, uh, which is crazy. So it'd be really interesting to see. Anyway, I better go and watch the episode, and I'll see you after I have watched the episode. I have just seen the episode, and what? on earth where where do i begin um uh, i guess uh, let's begin at the start so uh how did it start it started with um very exciting it was what's her name bell i think her name is she's and the, the she's on this planet and there's daleks and she's sort of making this audio recording for her love interest and i said oh i bet that's going to be vinda and then um and then she go, and then she, and then that's. I'm gonna so stick with this storyline. And then she, she's traveling the universe looking for Vinda, essentially. And um, she, she ends up uh, in this cyber Cyberman place, but she doesn't do anything with the Cybermen. She's like, oh look, there's some Cybermen over there. Uh, but then, oh yeah, and then there's a scene later on where they come on, and she's, she's like, uh, um. Uh, I, she's like, I'm on a, uh, on a, she's on a mission, the excitement's like, what, are you on a mission? And then she says she's on a mission of love to find Vinda, which was quite sweet, but the, the Cyberman wasn't having any of that. Uh, but so she just shot, shot the Cyberman. Um, okay, and then, th okay, that was that storyline. And then there was, and then, so basically all the companions are getting, a uh, phone about time, time is literally just gone, just like just time has basically given up it's fed up of being constant and it's just like i'm gonna i'm gonna chuck you all in, in random <laughs> random points in time with and then like and then there's random people and then random people look like other people like yaz like vinda is so vinda is reliving his experience of how he got sent to the outpost rose and how there's this new guy called the Grand Serpent, I think his name is, who's doing some dodgy, dodgy stuff. 
So he reported him and he ended up because him to the thing. And for some reason there was Yaz, he was seeing Yaz. I guess it was just like a connection uh, b between like being thrown in different time zones. Um, and yeah, so that was Vinda's story. And then we had Yaz, she was kind of living out normal day to day life, but then the doctor kept showing up. Um, and then there was, uh, and then there was the Weeping Angels in the video game, which that was a really cool scene, actually. I, that was really fun. Um, a really great concept. Um, but yeah, and then, and then there was, uh, Dan, what happened to him? He went to, he just went all over the place. He went to, to modern day Liverpool, uh, where he talked to Diane, and then he went onto the tunnels with, uh, what's his name, Williamson? his name uh, and did did some did some stuff with him and then we and then we had this scene that I have here on the screen uh, of the doc with the doctor being sent to uh, the past her past uh, that she didn't remember because it was when she was working for the division as Joe Martin I think it's pretty much confirmed it's it's not pre Hartnell I'm pretty sure, you know, I really hope they explain that it's in between Charlton and Pertwee. That will just, that will be a perfect little squeeze in there. That will be a perfect way to, to have it make sense. Um, so then, so that she's messing with the Swarm and Azure, who I actually don't know what they're planning on doing. So, Swarm, I guess he's using the Flux to his advantage, because he said he wants to reign in Hell, and I thought, oh, he, he's, he's the one creating the flux so he can reign in the, the end of the universe or whatever but uh, we had this scene with this mysterious woman who might be Tech Dune, it's just a theory um, but she, we don't know who she is, she seems to know who the Doctor is, the Doctor doesn't know who she, she is and she says that, uh, that it's the Doctor's fault that the flux is happening I don't think she's going to say the Doctor caused it explicitly but it's happening because of the Doctor and um, that means it wasn't Swarm which caused it, he's using it to his advantage, I think. And then he's just messing with time for no specific reason. Do, is there anybody that claims to, under, be, like, to understand what's going on? Because um, I'd be surprised if there is. I really, really do not know what's going on. It's very fun. It's very, it's very fun, but it's also very chaotic at the same time. It's very different. Uh, it's, you know, there's no, like, there's no relaxing. You know, you're sitting there. You know, with a headache, trying to work out what's going on. And then, the fact that we're messing with time, time's being thrown about. And then, within that, there's Weeping Angels, which also mess with time. There's just so, so much messing with time. It's, I mean, I, I, I saw these tweets, which, which are quite funny. I just, I just found a page of the script. <laughs> uh, it's just, I wouldn't be surprised if Chibble just sat down. And then, there's also this one, <laughs> Once Upon a Time, First Impression. Oh, uh, it's it's very funny. It's very it's very good. it's good to joke about it. But um, I did enjoy it. It was very fun. Uh, loads of I kind of enjoy just sitting down, just letting it flow with with me and just seeing what happens. Uh, it's good. But yeah, um, Dan Carvin Insta was there. I think I think Chimnal is like is determined to try and get Carvin Insta in every episode. I think he's that gonna be like I'm gonna get Carvin Insta in every episode. So that's why he was in the Santaran one. Um, and then it does make sense he was in this episode because he we did find out in the first episode he was a member of the division. Um, so yeah, so all these yards Dan, that that isn't it's just they've changed their faces for some reason. And this is actually people that Joe Martin was working with um, in the past uh, when she was when she was battling Swarm. And yeah, she's she's a lot more serious, a lot more kind of like an, an like a army uh, you know, person you know, telling. Telling people what to do all the time with guns and things, so she was very different. But then I think she was being told what to do by the Time Lords. Uh, but who knows with Chibnall? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I I, I think next episode. I think next episode is going to be so much better in terms of just it being a lot more centered, a lot more just kind of like a standalone Weeping Angel episode. I'm really looking forward to it. The, the Weeping Angel has been executed perfectly so far, so I'm really looking forward. To, I think it might be. My, it might be become my favorite episode of the series if it is what I think it's gonna be and then we just know we just know the finale with the finale is gonna be 
absolutely insane. Like, if this was the, like, the half halfway point episode, I just can't imagine what's gonna happen in the last two episodes. I just... Just any anything could happen. Um... Yeah, I, I, it would be good if the Flux has something to do with the Doctor's origin, so it does coincide with that exploration of her background. Um... I would... That would... I, I don't know. It's really really difficult to know what to say off the bat you know kind of initial reactions maybe uh, a more worthwhile review would be one where uh, i sort of sit down and like spend like a week or so like planning what i'm gonna say out and planning like a presentation of all the different things and, and make it you know give it a structure uh maybe that would be a more worthwhile cohesive review but just just initial thoughts it was just crazy there's so much going on i don't know what to talk about um but i think i covered everything um so uh vind has gone off to his own planet to uh search for bell and the, the weeping angels are in the tardis and we're going from their next episode so i hope you enjoyed this chaotic review of a chaotic episode because uh, if you didn't, then you've just wasted about 10 minutes of your life. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye.